what do they call the precancerous ones? Actinic keratosis, yeah. which means a rough spot caused by sun in Act Latin. Actinic mm -hmm. keratosis. Now, here's a picture of somebody's hands there. What's the actinic keratosis look like? Oh, they're the small pink scaly lesions that you see on the hand. Scaly tells you that there's something wrong about the way the skin is behaving in that area, and the pink tells me that the immune system doesn't like it either. So it's actually in there trying to fight the precancerous area. So you usually pick up a little bit of pink. How long does it take those to become cancerous? Well, not all do. In fact, only about 10% will evolve into a squamous cell carcinoma, and it could do it in a variety of different rates. A lot of that has to do with the person's immune system. So how do you treat actinic keratosis? It's not cancerous, but mm -hmm. it's precancerous. How do you treat it? Right. Well, it's, you know, even though they have a low incidence of evolving into cancer, it is so much easier to treat them in that stage than later, if that happens to be the one that does, that there is a good rationale for early treatment. Uh, if someone comes in and they just have one or two on a non-facial area, I'll usually use liquid nitrogen, which is just an extremely cold substance that does nothing fancier than freeze the, the uh, abnormal skin to death. So you, you freeze it, get a little blister on it, mm -hmm. removes it. What if it's on the face? Well, you know, sometimes freezing, well, usually freezing, will leave a little light mark. Mm -hmm. And if a person doesn't really care, then freezing is still a perfectly good option. But if a person might be concerned about the cosmetic change that that might cause, then there are some topical medications and a rather newer uh, treatment that is called photodynamic therapy. Um, both of those sorts of things can be used with very good efficacy, equal to that of freezing, um, but won't leave any light marks and can have what we call a field effect. In other words, if you have a precancer on your forehead, you know, if you had the right kind of skin and the right amount of sun to get one here, why not here? You know, so many times people who have, who show up with two or three actually have many others that are in earlier stages of development that we can't see yet so you're in a position of treating what you can see today and having them come back in a few months and having to treat more. So how do you treat looking for some hidden ones? There's, there's some medicines right, for that. Right, right. Well, the old gold standard is a drug called 5-fluorouracil topical. Many people know it as Effudex or Carac. And this is a drug that contains a chemotherapy agent. Uh, it's applied to the broad area of the skin. For example, if you came in and you had a few on your face and cheeks, we might have you do your entire face. Um, being a chemo agent, it works at a cellular level. Okay, so it can kill, and it'll kill only the abnormal cells. Remember, chemotherapy huh. drugs are selective poisons, so they only kill the bad spots, and they don't kill the pigment cells since they're normal, and so you don't get the white spots. In fact, most people say their skin looks tremendously smoother and brighter and healthier after a treatment. So that's an important thing to look for, these little scaly little rough lesions mm -hmm. on sun-exposed areas usually. Right.